Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video, and today, all of our prayers were answered. Arc-tempered Great Chungus. <laughs> Arc-tempered Great Jagras is finally upon us, boys, so what's the best way to farm him, and why would you farm him in the first place? Those are questions I will be answering today. Well, in case you guys didn't see my video and want to know a good set for fighting him, I'll leave a little card at the top right hand side of the screen so you guys can go ahead and click and watch that. But basically, the set that I have been using is the one that I showed in that video. It's just a fire elemental charge blade set. Anyway, it doesn't really matter too much because you can take pretty much any set that you want as long as it has some sort of defensive capability. He moves around a lot and he has a lot of slam attacks and a lot of attacks you gotta clear quite a bit of distance or be able to hold your ground. So long swords, great swords, charge blades, lances, heavy bow guns, all those are really good options for him. And fire weapons especially are very good for DPS, and sleep weapons and paralysis weapons are really good versus him as well. There actually is a very good reason to farm this guy. If you've hunted him already, then you probably already noticed, but in case you haven't, this motherfucker rains jewels. Whenever you attack him while his belly is full, it's like having a bandit mantle that drops decorations. Oh my God! Whenever you KO him, he also just starts spitting out. Literally, he just literally creates a never-ending pool of decos on the ground. So if you manage to get a lot of hits in, you'll easily, easily leave with 30 plus decorations every single hunt. Just remember that they do despawn after a few minutes, so even if you have to stop fighting him for a second just to pick them up, then be sure to do that so you don't miss out on any potential decos. Myself, personally, I've already gotten one attack jewel, like six or seven flawless jewels, three or four tenderizer jewels, just from hunting him like five or six times. So it seems he is quite generous, because some of my friends and their friends have gotten several tenderizer jewels as well. But even if you're super unlucky and all you get are garbage tier decorations it doesn't matter because those are fodder decorations for the melder you can just take all of those decorations give it to the elder and get yourself some better rarer jewels or at least a chance of them so it's a win-win wherever you look at it from so let's just say it takes you around six to seven maybe eight minutes to hunt him for the average player of course because we're gonna have you know those god tier hunter xx69 legiacris in the comment section that's gonna kill the damn thing before the map even loads Anyway, but say you take 7-8 minutes to kill him, getting max rewards every single time, so that means more or less 40 jewels per hunt, counting the ones that you get as actual mission rewards. And say you do this for about an hour straight, that's over 340 jewels per hour. Of course, your mileage may vary depending on your console, you know, if you have it installed on SSD, as well as if you choose to go to camp or if you choose to go to the gathering hub, which by the way, if you plan on farming him, go to the camp. So again, your mileage may vary, but that's still a lot of decos my guy that's still a hell of a lot of jewels and it's from an event quest which means you don't have to farm for five box tempered investigations you can just run it as many times as you want which makes this by far the easiest and the fastest way to get a huge stockpile of decorations so i highly recommend you guys take advantage of this while it's here because it's gonna stay and it's gonna be gone by next week and be replaced with arc tempered lavasioth okay so you better take advantage of this while it's here. It honestly feels like Capcom was getting so much shit over bad decoration RNG that they just did this. And it's so troll, it's so beautiful, I love it. I really want them to do more funky stuff like this. It's crazy. As for the fight itself, I think it's pretty fun. He's... He's pretty strong. He's like really strong and he's really fast. So he is a bit more of a challenge, but it's not, I mean, it's not impossible. It's, it's pretty easy to do. Once you complete him one or two times, you kind of see like, oh, that's the one shot. Well guys, that about wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it or found it useful. And if you guys did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And if you like what I do and would like to support me, then consider pledging to my Patreon so that I can afford to make more videos more often for you guys. And special thanks to my first patron, Muhammad Al Moody. But that's gonna be it for me guys. I wanna thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.